Hi, in this video we're going to cover a keyword searching technique that I think you'll find will really change the way you approach patent search. And so let's just get started and I'll show you what I mean. So let's look for some a, a single concept. In this case I'm going to use the word electronic cigarette. All right. And so if we search on that term, so that's the concept I'm looking for, patents related to electronic cigarettes. We can see we have a lot of them here. And so sort of off the bat, I know that there's going to be certain synonyms, right? Because this is not going to be enough. That string, electronic cigarette, is definitely not going to be enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just expand it with my, with my brain. And I'm going to say, or I'll put a soft return in here, and I'm going to say e-cigarette or e-cigarette, cigarette, okay, uh, all right, and I'm going to, oh, sorry, I've got to put a quote there. So if I update that search, we're going to expand these results because patents that have those, those two terms that don't have electronic cigarette as a string will show up. But there's far more terms. There are going to be electronic cigarette patents that have nothing to do with well, that just don't have these terms. And so how do we figure out what those terms are? The answer is to not use the thesaurus. Don't go looking at other ways that they're described because we need terms that patents use. So we're going to use the patent data to guide us. And that's kind of the key to this little tutorial here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find a class, right? We know we've got 1,500 patents here. And many of them, many of the patents that we're looking for will be in this set of 1,500 documents. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just to keep it simple, I'm going to go US only. So we'll get a few, uh, some less. All right, so 734 documents. And I'm going to go down to my CPC facet to a very detailed class. And my objective is to find a good class that relates to electronic cigarettes. It doesn't have to be the best class. It just has to be a good class. So let's take a look at this first one. So it's tobacco cigars. We can kind of see that if we look down at the at the uh, one dot simulated smoking devices, imitation cigarettes, more specifically with a heating means, electrical heating means. So I would think that any smoking device with electrical heating means would be an electronic cigarette. So I think that's a good class. So I'm going to check that and I'm going to update my search to filter into that class. So we've got 428 documents in this 008 class that have one of these terms. Okay, so what about the ones that don't have a term? So I'm going to try, see how I've got an opening and close paren. So this is sort of like one concept. So I'm going to say not. So show me the patents in these classes that don't have these terms. And I can update that. So now I've got 161 documents that don't have these terms. And we can see electronic simulated cigarette cigarette smoking system, electrical smoking system. So these are some of these other terms that we didn't pick up just on our first one. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say or do another one and I might add electrical smoking system. I can even copy that. All right, so I'm going to use quotes. All right, and so because we know that that is going to be an electronic cigarette anytime we see that term. And, and I updated, so we picked up 61 more patents in this one class, right? How do we know? Because we went from 161 down to 100. So the 61 must have that term, right? And so let's go find another one. Or, you know, electronic simulated cigarette. We'll just grab that. I'm going to copy that. Again, I'm only using the titles, right? I haven't even had to dive in yet. So I'll keep that string. So see, we're saying not. So now update any patent that has that term, remove it, right? So now we're down to 99. Smoking device. Now I'm a little bit concerned about smoking device because there may be smoking devices that are not electronic, right? Electric cigarette, cartridge of electric. So let's try electric cigarette. Right? So there's electric cigarette. And we can just keep iterating this until we get to near zero. So now we've got 97. If I just test it for now, I'm going to say in that class, of course, with one of these terms, we know 97 don't have it, 492. So we've got about 80% of them. Right? And my assumption is if we can get 80% of the ones in the electronic cigarette class, when we ultimately remove this, right? so we'll, we'll do that. I, I won't keep going. I won't keep going. 
uh, just to save time on this demo, but you can imagine we're going to set up maybe 20 strings here. But now when I look across the entire universe of patents, because I deleted that facet or that filter on the, the one good class, now we've got, okay, here are all of the US documents that have at least one of these terms. So what I did in my research folder, and of course, once I have that, I would save the search, right? So in my folders, I have one called base query, and I have electronic cigarette too. This is one I was playing with. And so here's my query, and you know, it's, it got quite big, and actually I just used that one class, that one that ended in 008, and I came up with all of these terms that I think mean electronic cigarette, and we're able to expand it way out to over 20,000 documents. Now I've got to be a little bit careful here because sometimes I might have some terms, I had to be really careful of picking up terms that would get normal inhalers, right, because sort of aerosolized, vaporized inhalers relative to sort of, sort of asthma medication, you know, those, those type of um, devices, we were picking them up. But, and, and so it's electric heat and so electric within three of heat and smoke or cigarette or tobacco. So that thing, see how this open print corresponds with that? So this is one element. So when I nodded that out, I was able to pick them up. And if we actually look at this first class here, see if it's still the first on this one. Let's go to CPC complete. And there's that 008. And let's see, and we're just looking at the, uh, the US patents and apps. So 583 documents in the US collection have them. And if I just not, see, because remember this, this pren corresponds to the end. So I'm nodding out everything here, right? And so, and what do we get? We get six, right? So I've got pretty much 99% using these strings. And that is my first concept, right? That is my concept for electronic cigarette. Right? And now I might want to have a new term. And a lot of times I'll use these soft returns, you know, shift enter, pretty standard way to do that. And I'll say and, and I'm going to do my second concept, right? And I'll open a paren, maybe put a line there just to sort of know that this whole set is. And I might say something like um, battery, right? So what I've got here, I can, I can kind of do that. And the reason I did this is because I might have, you know, or other terms that mean battery, right? Because it's really a very simple query. Concept one, all expanded out. Concept two, well, it's not really expanded out, but we would do this again in a battery class, right? And we would have, and we can then save that as individual searches and then marry them so that going forward, as you develop a library of these, you never have to search and figure out what terms mean electronic cigarette ever again. You've already got it in the bank. And that is the key. So over time, you'll develop wherever areas that you do a lot of your searching, you'll have you know between 20 and, and maybe 100 of these keyword searches that have been carefully researched. These only take 10 minutes because the patent information guides you to exactly what you need. But then going forward, you said, OK, let's look at these smoking uh, electronic cigarettes. And let's now look at, instead of batteries, let's go look at um, inductive heaters. Right? And we want to look at just the inductive heating. So we would then have our keywords related to inductive heating. And we could have used the class system, but clearly there's going to be patents that are related to inductive heating and, and aerosolizing and, and vaporizing that may be very useful for manufacturers of, of these types of products that um, may not be an electronic cigarette and so by you know a uh, class itself and so by using these very broad keyword searches we might find things that we wouldn't find with classes now now that said I love classes so use your classes because I think the examiners do quite a good job of classifying these patents in their right areas and, and we could kind of tell by this query when we, we got all but six we got 99 percent of them just by using some of these terms that clearly mean electronic cigarette or are very close to electronic cigarette. So anyway, just to maybe finish off here, if I grab battery and I update, you know, again, we could explode this concept. Very simple. This looks like a complex query, but it couldn't be easier. Concept one, right? Scroll down. Concept two. This concept and that. Here's the intersection. 521 documents. If we expand that out, we, we're going to get more. Oh, that's just in that one class and I can I can delete that, and and we might actually want to target, you know, battery to the claim. So I'm going to use a field code, 
ACLM colon battery. So now I'm saying that this term would have to be in the claims because I want to make sure battery is claimed because that's part of the invention that I'm looking for, some battery technology related to these things. So I hope you use this technique. I swear if you do, you're going to find out two things. Number one, super simple. And number two, you'll never be able to live without it. It is a great technique. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.